Let's talk vintage Sailor Moon items. I recently went a little bit ham online because I found this Japanese auction house and I figured out how to bid on items that are vintage or previously owned Sailor Moon goodies. I was super excited about it, so I ended up with this kind of mini haul from Japan of all vintage items. I had started seriously collecting Sailor Moon back in the 2010s, so most of my items are relatively new, but I have started collecting more vintage items and kind of filling in the gaps as I go. I feel like I pretty much caught up to everything that's available now, so now I'm, I'm working backwards towards 1992. <laughs> Specifically, I'm trying to collect a lot of items that are still new in box or very, very lightly worn. And I'm focusing on Japan and America vintage items. I'm not trying to go too international because then I feel like I might overflow with items in this room. So I'm just trying to stick to those few things. Let's get started with my first box. This is a series of original Sailor Moon DVDs from the Deke in the Pioneer dub. So I believe that I have Supers as well as Sailor Moon S here. Uh, we never got stars dubbed originally, not until the 2010s. So all of these are the previous version of the Sailor Moon English dub. Reversible cover, I had no idea there was a reversible cover. That's neat. So these are all Pioneer. That's the name that you want to look for for these if you're trying to find the non-bootleg versions of these. They are out of print, so sometimes these are relatively hard to find for a good price. When you can find them, I would recommend snagging them if you want to have these original copies. I'll start with Sailor Moon S that you can see here. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's six DVDs in this set. Each of them features this metallic S on the front so you can kind of tell that it's a real one using that little S as part of that confirmation. Here we have a little Pioneer postcard that you could send in and it does come with that reversible cover. So there's the reversible cover inside there. Oh man, this is cool. I haven't seen old DVDs like this in a very long time. So there's number one. We have number two, number three, number four. Here's Sailor Moon S number five and number six. Very, very cool. I'm pretty excited about these because the voice actors are different from the ones that are coming out right now with Viz Media. So these are the original voice actors that a lot of us grew up with. Now we have Sailor Moon Supers. This features a metallic logo. This is the classic English logo from the 1990s and the early 2000s. Seven, six, five, four, then we have three, two, and one. So all of these should have that metallic -y logo on them and that's a really easy way to tell if you're getting the real ones or not. When I went to Japan I started snagging up all these cute little girls memories items. Uh, this one my friend picked up when she went to Japan. It was 2400 yen. Pretty great price. I've seen this thing go for a lot more and I was like I'm not spending that much so I'll get it when she goes to Japan. I think the art is done really well with these girls' memories figures. So I think this is volume four of the girls' memories collection. This one features Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, and Chibiusa. When my good friend went to Japan, I asked her to focus on just finding video games. I wanted to start a collection of classic vintage Sailor Moon video games, and luckily she does have some vintage consoles at her house, so I was able to test these, and I do have some footage of those here. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll just start. Okay. And everybody has a superpower. The talismans? Yes. And then when you beat the game, you make the moon chalice. <gasps> Everybody's Shut talismans up. come together. This is so cool. And that's why you can be Super Sailor Moon after you beat the game. Oh. This is so cute. It really... It, the... Like, it seems easy enough now, but it does actually get really hard. Like, as you keep going, and it keeps it really entertaining. So with this one, it's your, like, ability. And depending... Ooh. Oh! Oh, yeah, so cool! Clear, depending on who you are, Sweet. does different things. And so this will be gone for, like, a minute. Yes. 
No. I hate when they do that. I'm like, why are you chirping at me? Yeah. <laughs> chirp, chirp. Yes. Ooh, get the space sword. Okay, I'm starting to strategize by watching. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, so like, I if see you the strat. Don't clear this one, then when you hit this or this, that'll go away too. Like, because you haven't exposed the color yet. Mm -hmm. So you can, like, clear more by not exposing things around stuff that you're going to be clicking on. I, I know I said I wanted to go home and play my own game, but this is really cool. <laughs> this is fun. Futari day? Yeah, Futari is two. Hitori is one. Oppo. Poop! Mm. Yeah. What a weird little, like, cursor. So we're still playing Candy Crush over here. Oh, look. But I think the more you clear, the better, like, you dump on the other person. Yep. You so dump weird. on them. <laughs> Just, like, get a big block of yellow. This one's a little faster. Mm -hmm. Oh! Screw you, Chibi Man. Screw you. Hey, man. <laughs> ah, screw you. She gonna cry. You know it. Can I speed up my own things? Oh, oh, okay. So you can switch it. This is a little jet, so I'm gonna kill everything above it. Oh, cool. Ooh. What else can I do? Oh, I spent something. Oh, I put her in timeout. <laughs> I I spent my bar, and so she's on. She's. Oh, it's a long time out. That doesn't help me. <laughs> that doesn't help my side. I love this art. Can we just talk about how cool the pixel art is? Yeah, oh, it looks gorgeous. so cute. Okay, you don't get more time. Protect the princess. Oh my god, she's following me now? Oh no. Oh, uh oh. You are leading her god. into battle. Don't <laughs> Watch out for the cat. What is the three things at the top? That's where they spawn from. Yeah, they're spawning from those. So when you see them sparkle, they come out. Is this just a weird space invaders? Do I have to kill her? I don't know what, like, how much time you actually have because that is not in seconds. <laughs> it sure isn't. It is it so, is it is so slow. <laughs> it's counting down, but it's so slow. It's uh, game, game time. Game time, yeah. Are those like bunny kangaroos on ice skates? Definitely on roller skates, yeah. Something like that. I feel like I see two wheels. Oh, I killed it. You popped its ball. So you have to you have to kill ten more enemies. That's oh. how many more are gonna spawn. Because I think every time you kill one, this number goes down. So it's like outlasty kind of. Yeah, 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 it went down. The fact that you can counter them is awesome. <laughs> so great. And the boxes are just covered. Get the kangaroo! No! I'm faster than you! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Six more! Jen's over here, like, just kicking so much butt. All I've done lately is play shooters. This What's makes that so door? Much What's the door? There is, is, is a. Is? Oh, oh don't touch the ghost! Oh no! Oh My head no! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Look at those faces. <laughs> that <animation's laughs> <cracking. gasps> oh, 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 oh my god! She is not messing around. What are the dudes in the background? 
her grandpa's just like, this, like, is, this is normal. Not, you like haven't even taken her shield down yet. She's so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's no. lighting me on fire. I'm sure there's a Dang, ton of combos. Troya. Oh my god, Troya. that was brutal. Up, down, up, down, right, left, right, left. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Why does she? Oh, sick! Why does she get a shield and you don't? Ooh. Let's have the crows. Oh, I have a shield too. I like down shoulder by. Oh, this is a hard game. Oh, yeah, like... it. oh! yeah! There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> no, don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Oh, she talked. Oh, my oh, God. No. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It's like a 10 combo <laughs> bitch slap. Here I have this PlayStation game, which I know absolutely nothing about. It looks really fun though. She also gave me this really cool mini disc. So this mini disc features a couple of songs, Moon Revenge and I Am Sailor Moon. This is really cool. One of these games was brand new and it came with this collectible card. So that was really neat, a nice foil card. I'm gonna keep this in the package and put it with my other trading cards. And then we have this little stockpile of video games. So all of these are for the Super Famicom. It's basically a Super Nintendo. It's the exact same cartridge, but just a slight difference with the pins. Apparently there is a way to play these Japanese games on English Super Nintendos, and that's what she did with hers. Uh, but I don't have a Super Nintendo, so I'm gonna have to find one for sale somewhere so that I can start playing these. So I have five different games here. This is a Sailor Moon S game, and all the Sailor Senshi are on here. It looks like a fighting game. Yeah, I think this one was a fighting game. Then I have this Sailor Moon game. This one is like an adventure type of fighting game, like RPG. Sailor Moon R. Oh yeah, we tried this one and failed spectacularly. We were so bad at this game. This one is a versus game, so you can fight with your friends. Super fun. Sailor Moon S game. Look at all the chibis, they're so cute. This one's a puzzle game, very much like Candy Crush, for example. This one's really fun. I was actually pretty good at this one. And a different Sailor Moon S game. This one's also a puzzle game, very similar to Tetris. Really, really fun. I ended up buying this next lot of items from somebody on Instagram because when I turn 40, which will be in a few years, I wanna have a Sailor Moon birthday party and I wanna use all of these items to make it like totally Sailor Moon themed. It'll be so much fun, I can't wait. So I found these party bags. There are eight party bags in this bag, it's brand new. This is a centerpiece or a table display. <laughs> it's, it's totally vintage, this is for a kid's party. Very cute, it's cardboard. These are eight invitations to a birthday party. Very cute. There are three little like blow ribbons that you can blow on inside this bag right here. This is also very vintage, it's kind of dusty. I have a set of party cups, adorable. Some napkins, of course. And then I have two different types of plates because you have to have one for food and one for the cake, of course. So here we have the larger disposable plates and the smaller disposables. Oh, and we cannot forget if you're going to have a Sailor Moon birthday party, you have to have party hats. So I have a set of party hats and I fully intend to make all my friends wear these when I have my 40th birthday party in a few years and they're going to appreciate and love it. This is a vintage coffee mug that I randomly found online. I think I found this on a Facebook group. Somebody was selling this, but it's cute. I have no idea if this thing is licensed or not, but it's very cute. This is pretty cool. This is a whole flip cards set of prismatic collector's cards that are vintage from the United States. I already have a bunch of these cards, but this is the full set. So I wanted to go ahead and grab this. Somebody was selling them on Instagram and it's the entire set. So there's number one through nine, 
We have all these over here. There's a whole bunch of them. And these have the Deke logo on the back of them because these came out during that time frame. I remember back in the day, I used to go to this local like car modding store where you could get like underglow and bass speakers and stuff put into your car. And for some reason they had like a comic book area in that car store. And that's where I would always buy these trading cards. So I had a bunch of these when I was a kid. I don't know what happened to all of them, but now I have the full set. So this is the full set of 70, 72? Yeah, 72 cards. And they're all nice and organized in this binder. And the binder is a collectible binder. It has this prismatic, officially licensed product branding on it from Deke. So really cool. It's just a fun thing to have and a fun little piece of my own personal history with all of these trading cards. I can't tell you how hard it was to find Sailor Moon items when I was growing up in Missouri in the middle of nowhere in a very small town. So it's really nice to be able to purchase these things nowadays online and kind of fill in those little gaps that were missing from my childhood. This large pile that I have on my lap is all items that I got from a Japanese previously used auction house. I was very excited about all of these because I've never done any auctions online before from Japan. So this was really fun. It was a great experiment and I got these items for great prices because many of them nobody else bid on. And I was like, why not? This cup, which came out in the 90s, this is, I believe an old, yeah, it's a Nakayoshi item. So this is a Nakayoshi cup. Up. Very small, cute little teacup, plastic, of course, but a nice little display item. I also found this awesome little bento box. Now this is a Sailor Moon World bento box. Very, very cute, licensed item again. This one does feature a couple of different pieces. So let's open it, let's check it out. We have this top piece that features the Sailor Guardians, comes apart like that. And these are removable, these two pieces. This item appears to be brand new. I don't believe anybody has ever used it. There you go, that bento box is very cool. This is a really nice handkerchief. It has some lovely art on it. Uh, this is also a Sailor Moon World item, so from the 2000s era, Sailor Moon. At the bottom we have the Toei sticker, it says Bandai on there, Sailor Moon World, Pretty Soldiers, and then we have all of the Sailor Soldiers in here. This is lovely art, I really like it. It's a very pretty handkerchief. I love being able to use these as things to lay out on my shelves behind me. So it gives my shelves a little bit more color since my shelves are wood. It's a nice thing to put my items on so they don't slip around. I also snagged this very cool animation cell of Mistress Nine. Now there is no background behind her or anything like that, but this was such a great price. So I got this for a really excellent price. I was very happy about that. And now I can add a villain to my animation cell collection, which is small but growing. Another item that I picked up from the auction was this very old vintage uh, booklet of original drawings from the animation. Each of these features some production art from Sailor Moon. I don't know a lot about these, but I know that there's a ton of scans online. So I also found these ones, which I do believe that these are scans of some of the production art, but I was super excited to look at these. I have seen a lot of these in the museum and the exhibition. So it's really cool to get my hands on some of them. I can tell that these are a little bit older because the color of the paper, these ones look newer. So these might be a copy. Luckily, I didn't spend a lot of money on them. If you know very much about these, uh, the sete art, I think it's called. Let me know down below because this is something I'm I want to get more into. I want to understand better, but I don't have a lot of information on these right now. This is another Sailor Moon World item. Now this says that it's 60 by 100 centimeters. This is a small, it's basically a picnic blanket. So you would lay this out while gazing at the cherry blossoms or having a picnic. It's made out of a plasticky material, so it won't get super dirty if you lay it out on the ground and it will be very easy to wash off. If you ever find these online and you intend to use one, 
definitely grab one. These would be great for like county fairs or if you have to sit out in a lawn and watch fireworks over the summer, stuff like that. This would be perfect for those kind of conditions. This is from Sailor Moon World. This is what the art looks like on this blanket or on this mat and it is a licensed item. This was really cute and I loved that it came in this nice plastic packaging because I could keep everything in here nice and tidy and I think this is another item that is brand new but it was listed as previously owned. I just don't think anybody ever used it. It's a little snap closure. Let's check this out. I haven't even opened this yet, so I want to open it on camera. Several things are included in this packaging. This is like a little stationery set, 10th anniversary. So there's the packaging. It's the back of the packaging. It tells you what's included in the box. Oh, that's cute. Sailor Moon Channel. Adorable. Got a little Sailor Moon Channel promo. This is a little, it's cardboard, but it feels almost like a pencil board. Nice little piece to display. 10th anniversary, Sailor Moon World, and some promotional information on the back. Included in here is a Sailor Moon World coloring book. Oh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. This is obviously made for a child, but I don't care. It's so cute. This has some really cool art on the inside of it too. Look at these. Look at this coloring book. Look, this is so cute. Okay, I like the drawings in here. You got some chibis. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, these are so pretty. This is actually very nice. Like, I want to use this. This is very cute. Look at all the coloring pages. Aw. Okay, we'll finish flipping through here really quick. The beach photo. Very cute. Tuxedo mask. We got the inner guardians all hanging out. The pages are pretty thick too. So if you color one side, it shouldn't bleed through unless you use markers. So use crowns on something like this. And there's the last page. Aw. Or I guess I should say that that was the front page. What is this? This looks like, oh, this is like a little drawing notebook. Features Sailor Moon on the front. Very similar art to the coloring book. So not a huge difference there. Uh, some tissues. Oh, that's so cute. I don't want to open them. Oh, here we have our crowns. We have a series of crowns that is included in the package. And is this another notebook? There's some more art inside this notepad. So a little notepad comes with it too. That's adorable. Very cute little stationary set. Buckle that back into place, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Buckle that back into place, moving on. This is a very nice fan. These fans are so useful in the summertime. They're just very big and they actually blow some wind at you, so really nice. This is a Sailor Moon World fan. I will definitely be putting this on my shelf to display. I really like that art. I like both sides. What side should I display? Hmm, let me know. That's very cute though. This is another Sailor Moon World set. Uh, I believe this one is like a lunch set. Yes. So here we have everything that's included in the packaging. It includes a bento box. There's a little lunch bag. There's some little mini utensils, a little cup. That's very cute. This is adorable. Should we open it? I think we should. I know somebody's out there watching my video and they're like, no, don't open it. Don't break the seal. No, you're ruining the value. I don't care. I bought it for myself. Heck yes, I'm gonna open it. I wanna see all these things, you know? How cute are those? We have a couple of cupcake, little aluminum foil <laughs> cupcake liners. I didn't even know these existed. These are so cute. Here's the bag for you to put your lunch in. Very cute little drawstring lunch bag. This is adorable. I could totally see like a little kid using this and taking it to school with them. There's another bento box. So this one's a little bit different from this bigger one that came separately, it's sold separately. This one features Luna and Artemis on the handles. And then we have the inner sealer guardians. This is a little box for our utensils. I wanna see the utensils. Those are cute. Oh, look at these little kid-friendly chopsticks. These are so little. Oh, so cute. And then we have this teeny tiny little fork. This is actually metal. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of surprised. And a little spoon. Yo, if I had a kid, if I had a kid, I would totally use this to feed them. This cup is very, very cute and it's included in the package. Features all of the Sailor Guardians all around the edges. The last item included in this package are, these look like little food flags that you can like stick in food. There's some more cute little signage items. These are different sizes too. There's large ones, medium ones, and then these teeny tiny little flags. Those are really cute. Are these just to like decorate your food with? I am not familiar. The last item in my vintage haul is the very first collection 
of laser discs that I own. This is very exciting. I've been wanting to start collecting laser discs for a while, and now I have some of them. So I'm super excited to be able to own these ones. These are new. They come with trading cards, brand new trading cards on the back of them too. So eventually I'll take out the trading cards and add them to my trading card collection. But for now, I'm gonna leave them in the packaging with these laser discs. These do have episodes on them. Now, I don't know which episodes are on each of these laser discs. I'm gonna have to look into to that and find out. This is from the Sailor Moon Memorial collection of Toei laser discs. <laughs> Originally, they were 5,800 yen each, so quite pricey for these laser discs. Here we have the trading cards on the back. This one is the first season, I believe, Sailor Moon. Then we have these are from Sailor Moon R. This one is from Sailor Moon S. So we have this really pretty foil print again. I love this holographic outline. It's so cool. Very, very pretty to look at. Uh, we have more trading cards in the back. This one's kind of open, so I can, I can actually pull this laser disc out and check it out. Oh, it's two-sided. I was wondering how they fit so many episodes on these things. So there's side two, then we have side one over here. I was wondering about that. It's like, how does that work? Like I said, I've never owned Laserdisc before, so I have no idea. But apparently these do come with some unique information on them, like unique interviews and whatnot. But I, again, know very little about these. This is the Sailor Moon Supers Laserdisc, the Sailor Moon Supers Memorial Laserdisc collection. Here we have our trading cards. And of course, Sailor Moon Stars. So here's the last set, Sailor Stars Memorial. So shiny and sparkly, very pretty. And some more really cool collectible cards. I love it. There is another bigger set of laser discs that come in like big box sets, uh, which I believe are the originals. And I think these are like reprints. So I'm not really sure if each of these has an entire season on each laser disc or if it's only specific episodes really don't know much about them so i'm excited to learn more and i'm also excited to learn like how in the world do i watch these <laughs> i guess i'll have to buy like a laser disc uh player very vintage vintage media Super fun. So those were all of my vintage items for my collection. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun going through this collection. I'm very excited to start filling in my collection with previously owned or lightly owned items that I just never had access to as a kid. This is very, very exciting and really, really fun for me. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have more knowledge about any of these items, please leave that below as well. Sometimes people act a little condescending if we don't know everything as content creators. And it's very strange that people expect us to have this like, wealth of knowledge when oftentimes we're also learning as we go. These vintage items that I have never had access to before, that I do have access to now that I discovered this auction house, these are things that I never even knew existed. So there's a lot of things that I'm filling the gaps with too. So yeah, hopefully y'all can empathize with that and understand that you know, we are learning as we go as well. We're not this huge wealth of knowledge like some people expect us to be. So yeah, please just uh, understand that we're all humans and our brains have limited capacity and there's only so much that we can remember about things. I also run two channels, so I'm doing like two different jobs full time. So keep that in mind as well. Check out these two videos if you wanna see more Sailor Moon and until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'm Shannon Morse, aka Sailor Snubs. Jane.